Welcome back, everyone. Here we are at level 7, the PTMC Research Bunker. Alright, let's do this, shall we? MD, this is Dispatch. The asteroid appears to have some pretty heavy security defenses. We've located some sort of power source near your current location, which might help lower some of these defenses. If you can disable and destroy it, good luck. Alright, thank you for that info. So, what is our objective on this level? Well, we are currently on the asteroid Ceres, and we are trying to locate a couple samples of the virus so that the uh, uh, the Redacropolis research team can start making an antivirus. And here we're flying the CED Phoenix Interceptor for the first time after we've retrieved it in the previous level. And we have a new enemy here. The ship they're flying right at me. I don't exactly know what they're called, but they're armed with lasers and cyclone missiles. Yeah, see the purple missiles that were flying right by me? Yeah, that's a new weapon that we'll be getting pretty shortly. Yeah, these things have very low shield, and what they do is they just run at you and, uh, ban their lasers and cyclone missiles at you. Oh, and that missile was sort of unnecessary. Whoa! Yeah, you gotta watch out for these cyclone missiles. They are homing missiles, for the most part. And there goes all my, uh, homing missiles. God, I'm just having a hard time hitting these guys, am I? There we go. We got ourselves a cyclone missile. And the way the cyclone missile works, it's sort of like the, uh, the impact mortar when you fire it. But then it detonates and shoot off all these uh, mini missiles that will lock on to enemies. It's a pretty cool weapon. I'll go ahead and demonstrate it later. But for right now, we need to find some sort of uh, device that will disable these giant turrets. Yeah, look at how big these turrets are. The armed with uh, valve cannons and concussion missiles. Whoa! Hello. So yeah, I'm not gonna be able to destroy these turrets by myself, but there is a power source that I can shoot and disable, which will bring down the uh, the giant turrets. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. Oh yeah, good job dodging that missile, asshole. So yeah, let's talk about the ship that I'm flying, the Phoenix Interceptor. This is the ship that I retrieved in the last, uh, level. Now, there is an upside and a downside. The upside is, it runs a lot faster than the Pyro, but the downside is, it carries less ammo. Uh, like, uh, with the concussion missiles and the homing missiles. The Pyro can carry 15 of each, whereas the, the Phoenix can carry only 12. Anyway, let's go in here. This is where we shall disable the uh, turret defenses. And we got another new weapon, the Napalm Rocket. Just a dumb fire missile that uh, spawns uh, Napalm upon detonation. Let's go ahead and flip all of these switches. And now let's shoot at the core right here. And there we go. Now all the turrets are disabled. Oh yeah, as you can see, the turrets are permanently deactivated, so we won't have to worry about them anymore. And here we get to meet Sparky for the first time. Yeah, the Sparky robot, they're just a melee type robot. They'll just zap at you with their uh, welders. And, oh shit. Ah, ah! And here's the turret that shoots homing missiles. Um. Yeah, let's go in here now. And let's hit this thing so that we can watch ourselves 
fight these guys. Ow. Hey, set the stinger on fire. There we go, gotcha. And I got some more homing missiles. Yeah, as you can see, I can carry only 12 homing missiles now instead of 15. Let's go ahead and shoot at these things now. This is uh, the cooling system for the uh, base. I'm getting readings on a widespread temperature drop throughout the complex. Apparently something you did has affected either the cooling or heating system. Doesn't appear dangerous, and in fact, it just might make your job a little easier. Beagle out. Alright. Oh, that's good to know. Now, we're not going to continue on this way. Um, in fact, let's bring the guide bot out and have him take us to our next objective. Of course, this means we're going to have to go back outside. Well, yeah, while we're making our way to our next objective, I am going to go ahead and talk about uh, something that happened recently. Yep, I am aware that, uh, that uh, Mr. Spock himself, Leonard Nimoy, passed away a couple days ago, and... I know Trekkie fans everywhere are really uh, saddened by this, and I'm quite sad about this too. Um, even though I will admit I've never watched the original Star Trek, I, I haven't even seen any of the original Star Trek movies. Well, except for Star Trek IV, but I honestly don't remember the, that movie very well. But yeah, I do remember the parts of them going to San Francisco and uh, checking out the whales. Uh, which way are we going, Guidebot? So, yeah. I'm quite sad that uh, Leonard Nimoy is gone. I know that uh, the Big Bang Theory is going to make an episode out of this, considering how all the characters, well, not all the characters, but the, the main characters, anyway, they all love Star Trek. Oh, I'll scratch. Okay. Well, that took me by surprise. And this, I believe, is where we'll encounter our next new enemy. Yep. Say hello to the six gun. Not that big of a threat. They just fire lasers at you and that's it. But they are quite maneuverable. They can uh, avoid your shots quite well. Go away, old Scratch. Ow. Oh, I took out two of my guided missiles, that bitch. And I think I lost my Vows Cannon too. Yep. Okay, where are we going, guide bot? This way? No? I lost ya, and I hear an old scratch. Um, oh, I see a crack in the rock there. And that is, in fact, a secret. And, I should point out, I'm not, I'm not bothering to, uh, find all of the secrets, just the ones that I know of. Because when it comes to finding secrets in Descent, um, the game doesn't actually keep track of any of the secrets, much like in Doom or Serious Sam. Ow. Ah! Not my guided missile again. No, I really haven't been using the guided missiles much, haven't I? 
Oh, wait a minute. I hear another one. Okay, you know what? Flame on. Oh, yeah. I only got one napalm cannon instead of two. <laughs> and I think there's supposed to be another secret around here somewhere. Nah. I'm not going to waste any time looking for it. And I want to keep my guide bot waiting. So yeah, um... Yeah, I can't wait to see how the Big Bang Theory is going to do with, a. Uh, okay, that missile was a misfire. And I killed that tracker in one shot. Yeah, that's a tracker right there that's armed with the uh, mass driver's cannon. And there's another weapon that we'll be getting later. Mass driver cannon is pretty much a uh, a sniper weapon, kind of like a railgun. It's a really badass weapon. Ah, shit! No, get the fuck out of my way! Um, flipping upside down. <laughs> Do a barrel roll! No. There we go. Man, my aim is kind of off today. But anyway, um, I'll go ahead and flip a couple of switches so that we can have access to that one room. Right there. Access granted, door unlocked. I already have an afterburner cooler. Uh, press this so we can get a surveillance camera footage. I was frozen today. <laughs> right. Alright, now, uh, we don't actually have to shoot the thing, we have to act activate it by, uh, by touching it. There we go. Now we have power to the elevator. Alright, guide bot. Beagle here. We're detecting a heavy magnetic field being generated within the facility. I don't know if this will help any, but it may be coming from some sort of particle accelerator or perhaps a kind of magnetic lift system. Okay. Oh, is that a six gun? Yep. Hi there. Alright, so now that we have uh, power to the elevator that will take us to the antivirus, let's head on over there right now. But first, let's take care of the six gun. Now, I wonder why it's actually called the six gun. I mean, it doesn't have six guns, it only has two. Or maybe it's the fact that uh, it's shooting white laser and the white laser means it's a level six laser. That, that could be a reasonable theory. Ow! Oh, and that just blew a hole in the wall. Or someone did. Oh, and we have a squid. Um, we'll go that way in a minute, guide bot, but first I want to see what's in here. Yeah, it's a secret area with impact mortars and more shields. Okay. A secret I discovered by accident during a fight. Um, and we got some more robots here. They are enemy robots, but um, they don't really attack you unless you attack them first. So uh, we'll just ignore them. I haven't seen the regular gyros in a while. I haven't seen them since uh, level 4, actually. Oh yeah, and the Sparky can malfunction by spinning around and shooting out smoke. 
Just like that. Basically, mean that their system's overheated and uh, very uh, initiated initiated self-destruct sequence. Ow! Mind your personal space, asshole. All right, let's go, guide bot. And I think these two are stuck. I'd love to help, but I'm on a mission right now. Go away, old grad. Alright. Oh, for God's sake! Don't you a-hold mind your manner for, for crying out loud? Alright, let's go, guide bot. Go down here, and here we are at the elevator. Oh! Hi, Tubbs! Fancy seeing you here. Been a while. Oh, and the squid followed me all the way down here. Well, isn't that pleasant? Oh, and there's another one. Okay. Uh, come on back in, guide bot. I will finish the mission myself. Oh yeah, here's the elevator that will take us straight down. And this is not the only time we'll ever use an elevator like that. We will use some more later on. And there's some switches here, but I'm not authorized to use them. We gotta find ourselves a security pass or something that'll allow us to uh, use those switches. And here we have a new weapon, the Microwave Cannon! Yep, the, the same weapon that the, uh... That the Orbot used. And everything you hit with it fizzles. Look at that, even the crate fizzles! <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. However, this weapon doesn't really do that much damage, so, um... I'm not gonna be using this weapon a lot. Hi, Tubbs. And here we got ourselves a security key. Which means we now have uh, authorization to use those switches that we couldn't flip earlier. Okay, he took a long time to die. And that's a brand new robot that we won't get a briefing on until much later in the game. Yeah, these robots are called Stormtroopers. Yeah, you heard right, they're called Stormtroopers. Star Wars, sue something. That's all I gotta say. But anyway... Um... So I just want these switches now. To disable the force field. And get the surveillance camera footage. Showing us where the virus samples are. And they are, for some reason, being bathed in fire. And they're being guarded by... Turret shooting, uh... Homing missiles. <laughs> too slow. Alright, guide bot, step out so that you can extinguish me once I grab the virus samples. There we go. Oh. The samples you found should be fine. Now get yourself out of that asteroid and back to the beagle before you get into any more trouble. And guide bot went ahead and set himself on fire. Anyway. Uh, hit that switch. And destroy these things. Oh, I thought I would get some shield out of them, but... Nope. Now that we have both virus samples, let's get the hell out of here and head back to the Beagle. 
Yeah, the Beagle is where the Red Aquapolis research team is staying at now, now that the station's been destroyed on Mars. After the CED believes that we're terrorists. Yeah, that's still going around. But we will go we will be clearing that up later on. Okay, did he just cock his guns right there? In the middle of a fight? That was weird. Oh, there's nothing else left. Let's exit. And that was the PTMC Research Bunker. Quite a fun level. But we are all done. We have both of the virus samples. And now we can continue on to the next level. We're analyzing the sample that you collected. It's quite different from anything that we have previously seen. We've already begun to change our antivirus to reflect this new strain. Chapter 8, A Wrench in the Gears. A strike against the largest PTMC fuel refinery center in the system might buy us some extra time while our scientists continue to develop the antivirus. We'll get you to the surface of Europa. Find and destroy the refinery's heat sink to cause a massive explosion that should disable the whole facility. Every effort should be made to get non-PTMC craft to safety before incapacitating the center. Alrighty then, further info. Robots. SH-1100, Thresher. The SH-1100 is an older model excavation drone. He has no fear of combat and, and will methodically attack his opposition. The Thresher both dual fusion cannons as well as razor sharp claws. Yeah, these are pretty much the uh, Descent 1 fusion hulks of Descent 3. They're armed with the fusion cannons. And we will get one in this level. Uh, the fusion cannon, that is. Classified. We currently have no reconnaissance for the PTMC fuel refinery. Okay, and for this mission, I'm going to switch back to the pyro. So, we are now heading off to Europa. Beagle dispatch to MD-1032. Alright, you know the drill. You'll need to find a way into the refinery before you can really do some damage. And I will go ahead and save my game right here. And I will see you guys next time.